Hi, this is Gary K. We're outdoors today for a special pre-Infocom edition of my Rants and Rays video cast. I'm here with Frank Calavo. We're out right off the campus of the University of North Carolina. Frank's with Computer Comforts. Uh, Frank, why are you here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina? Well, I'm here to demonstrate some of our new products. For the last year, I've been collaborating with some of the AV tech team on campus. So I thought I'd swing by your place and give you a little sneak preview. Yeah, um, he worked with uh, the AV team at the University of North Carolina to build a brand new con con conceptual, basically, uh, lectern that turned into a real product. And it's really kind of unique because you you have a you have a lectern that has equipment uh, has equipment rack inside of it, but also can be broken apart. Exactly, exactly. So the growing trend these days on most campuses is flexibility to have things modular. So that was one of the big challenges. They gave me three challenges, actually. They said we want to future-proof our classrooms. And what they meant by that is to make it modular. They said that equipment is changing so fast, technology is changing so fast. They were tired of installing le expensive lecterns that a couple semesters down the road became obsolete. Number two was to make something adjustable, something that was sit or stand and ADA compliant. And then last but not least, which was kind of the biggest, one of the biggest challenges, was they said the enemy of any lectern installation was heat and dust. So they asked me to try to come up with a cooling system that would also be a dust-free environment for their hardware. And he did all three. Let's, take, let's uh, check them out. We're going to do the dust-free uh, and uh, heat-solving solution uh, in, uh, last. We're going to do that last. Okay. But I want to focus on this first. Um, this is being installed in eventually all the classrooms at the University of North Carolina um, that, uh, that need lecterns like this. But the medical school, I think, is the first place that's, that's got them. Uh, tell, tell us what the concept is here. Exactly. So the concept was in the smallest footprint possible to create an adjustable workstation. One of, the, one of the big challenges was they wanted adjustability without the expensive uh, electric motors. And the reason being is they, wa they didn't want the faculty, the teacher, to be tethered to the wall. So the mechanism here, if I can demonstrate this, yeah. it's a simple tilt mechanism. When the surface is tilted, it floats up and down, and when you let go of it, it locks into place anywhere you, uh, anywhere you leave it. So again, going up, it's one hand, let go, locked. Going down, it's two hands. And there's a lifetime warranty on this mechanism. And it doesn't have to be plugged in or anything like that, but you are providing power in a unique way because there is gonna be times where people put up their laptop up here and wanna to, want to power their laptop. Why don't you show them that? Why don't you go down there and grab that down there really quickly? Um, because you're, you, this is an option to it as well. So we have an all day rechargeable battery. Um, my goal was to, to, in order to make this modular, the instructor needs to be able to roll around the classroom so they can detach from the AV cabinet. Yeah, check that out. Detached it. So it, so now that the instructor has its uh, has their own podium that they can roll around the classroom in an active learning classroom environment, but the equipment rack stays put. Exactly. So by mounting the LCD arm to the equipment rack and not to the freedom cart, you're able to just set the keyboard and the mouse off to the side have your laptop, tablet, and take off around the room. And in some of these larger active learning collaborative type classrooms, that's kind of important where the faculty member wants to go and uh, visit with each individual group. Yeah, I want you to put that back so you can see that the monitor is still centered over the, uh, the lectern. Uh, so it's almost like it, it looks like in, at first glance that it's mounted to that, but that's a creative way of not mounting it to it so that you can walk away from it right. because you wouldn't have to provide power for that monitor. Exactly. And another thing they, they liked was when the monitor is positioned like this, the students have a clear view of the instructor. No one's hiding behind the monitors. 
So. All right, so this this is looks like an, a standard equipment rack, but we're going to go over here and show you something that you did to solve uh, a big problem, which is which is um, cooling and uh, dust and protecting the gear. So the first thing you did is around the back, you designed a, an interesting opening there with a with your own fan. So this is a custom rear door, and it's designed for exhausting the heat from the cabinet. We use this door in combination with a one rack unit cooling fan. So you can see the fan right there. It's super quiet and it's designed for these types of environments. It will create a vacuum and suck the heat out of the cabinet. But you did something really uh, simple and inexpensive for the front uh, to solve the problem with dust. So I created a customized front door which is perforated for airflow but as you can see, I added an off-the-shelf uh, air filter to capture any dust and dirt that might get sucked into the cabinet. So for $2, you've got air filtering in a, in a uh, way that you can use any Home Depot or Lowe's to solve the problem. Exactly. I just went to Home Depot last night and I bought a two-pack for five bucks. It was important for me for it to just be off the shelf. I don't want to be selling filters. Um, I'm in the furniture business. All right, so both of these products are now uh, available, right? I mean, this is, although designed for the University of North Carolina, I know that you've been to Kansas and some other campuses have already shown the product. Exactly. We started shipping these coast to coast in March. So uh, although we collaborated with UNC and I thank them greatly for all their input, uh, it's proven to be a big hit on, uh, on a lot of campuses. But before, uh, before we go, I want to mention one other thing. You can put... So since this is modular, you can put the rack on the left side or the right side. In addition, a lot of customers, surprisingly, are ordering two cabinets, putting one on the left and one on the right. Some of the components that are laying on the t tabletop here, it automatically ships. The uh, lectern will automatically ship with both a locking wheel and a fixed leveler. So what I see a lot of times, the AV guys don't want that cabinet moving, especially after it's loaded with equipment. So they'll put a fixed leveler on that unit and then put the uh, roll around wheel on the uh, adjustable instructor's table. Last but not least, there's a ganging bracket. And if I separate this, you can see Gary, I installed, I installed half of the ganging bracket just for demonstration purposes. The holes are pre-drilled on both sides. You can see those two inserts there. So if the school really wants this thing bolted together and they don't want it to move, um, we offer that as a standard feature. Well, we are actually here uh, right off campus. The, the golf course is right behind us. Did you know that's UNC's golf course? Oh, no. I, I knew it was a golf course, but I didn't know UNC's. Yeah, so. And this is our office here, so we're right across the street. So we're actually doing a demo. You're actually installing these right now at UNC. Um, what is the product called, by the way? The product's called uh, Configure IT or Configure It. And then this is called the Cool It uh, Airflow System, Cool-IT. Uh, and this comes in different, obviously different finishes. Exactly. We we stock Wilson Art, Nevermar, Formica with a wide variety of paint finishes to blend any any uh, classroom environment. And what's your website? Website is www.computercomforts with an S at the end, computercomforts.com. Right. So. Check it out. Uh, we got a lot more Infocom stuff to cover. If you want to see all of our Infocom coverage, go to raypubs.com slash Infocom. Frank, thanks for coming out to Chapel Hill and demonstrating this. We are going to be at Infocom. I should have my booth number. Uh, we'll put it in the description of this video cast. Don't worry about it. We'll put it in there, and we'll link all of this stuff in the description. Anywhere you're watching this, look down. You'll see the links for all this stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ray, Ray. With rents and waves, you'll be